very good morning and jai hind children welcome back to chemistry class children yesterday we have started a new chapter that is chapter 6 changes around us and we have done the introduction of the chapter so today i am going to explain each and every topic in detail okay so today we are going to study the introduction of the chapter again and we will study what is reversible and irreversible changes and what is physical and chemical change okay so i would request everyone to please open your book children chapter 6 changes around us so now i will be sharing the pdf of the chapter and also the powerpoint so that it makes you more clear all right so first that is changes around us so the first page changes of changes around us that we have already studied we have seen that there are various changes that are taking place around us every now and then and if we talk about change so there is a change in the shape of object there is change in size of the object there is change in the position of the object color changes state changes that is solid liquid and gas that changes and also their internal structure changes so whenever we are talking about any change in the object or in the material such properties or these properties of the components changes all right so uh today in this chapter we will be studying about reversible and irreversible change and also physical and chemical changes all right so this we are going to study today i hope you have done the homework that i have told you to read the pages read the first two pages i hope most of you have done it so children uh now i am going to share the ppt and i'll make it clear that what are reversible and irreversible changes all right so chapter number 6 changes around us so in this chapter we will be covering the following topics like introduction reversible and irreversible changes physical and chemical changes just a second the spelling of change is wrong so physical and chemical change changes when different substances are mixed some more examples of physical and chemical changes so these are the topics that are included in your uh, this chapter chapter number 6 changes around us okay so we have done the introductory part of the chapter yesterday now today we will be dealing with the two topics that is reversible and irreversible physical and chemical changes all right so now uh, starting with first that is reversible change so children as we have discussed yesterday reversible matlab reverse karna there is a term called reverse okay so when any substance or any object is coming back to its position after there is certain change it is called reversible change okay when change that can be reversed again is called a reversible change okay or you can also define as when the object comes back to its original form after a change it is called reversible change okay so i have one very interesting thing with me and that is balloon all right so i'll try to explain you with this uh, balloon example so children as you know that earlier the balloon is of this shape all right so it is normal shape of the balloon when you go to market you find this type of a balloon okay now what i have done i have full out fight okay so now what happened the shape and size of balloon changed isn't it so the shape and size of the balloon changes so this is a change first first try to understand that there is a change earlier it was like this and now it is like this so this is a change okay now coming to reversible and irreversible change so see i am squeezing it yes so when i am squeezing it you can see 
that its size is decreasing a bit but slowly as I leave it it attains its original form isn't it when I am squeezing it it is changing the form but when I am releasing it again it is again regaining its shape and it is again regaining its size okay so such type of change when it will again regain its original form it is called reversible change getting my point so this is a balloon so when I squeeze it it is changed this is a change all right but when I will again put it into a normal form it will again regain its shape and size so this is a example of reversible change getting my point so this is called a reversible change see so let's see a few more examples of reversible change okay so see first example is squeezing of balloon so i told you it will again regain its shape yes so this is example of reversible change now this is ice cream okay when ice cream is kept at room temperature normal so it gets melted isn't it will melt ho jayega. and now you keep it in a beaker but again if you keep it in a, in a refrigerator then what will happen it will again get solidified getting my point so this is again a reversible change ice or ice cream will get melted when it is heated but when it is cooled it will again solidify and become a ice cream okay so this is a reversible change getting it now another example is here kicking of football so when football is kicked it is changing its position football is changing its position but it can again come back to its original place football comes back to its original place so this is again a reversible change okay now melting of wax this is a reversible change how see this is a candle so we heat it the candle will get melted but again when it is getting melted it is solidifying again and again becoming a wax okay so wax is melted on heating but when it is cooled it again forms a wax so it is a reversible change what about chocolates so when you purchase a chocolate and you keep it in a fridge what happens it remains solidified lekin agar aap chocolate ko bohat der tak bahar rakh dijiye to kya hoga wo melt ho jayegi lekin jab aap fir se us melted chocolate ko fridge mein rakhenge aur usko cool karenge so it will again regain its shape again it will be solidified all right so this is a example of reversible change these all are the examples of reversible change okay let's see what is written in the chapter let's come back and let's see what is written in the chapter about reversible change so uh, this we have done now coming on to reversible change so there are few list of examples given first is the shape of balloon come back to its original when you stop squeezing it this we have seen the balloon returns to its previous size when kept out of the sun for a little while okay when you keep the balloon outside in a sun it will again regain its shape the kicked football can be brought back to its original position i have told you so this is a reversible change a red hot piece of iron regain its original color when it is cooled iron head a piece of iron head take a nail okay when you are burning it it will become red okay but instantly when you cool it down it will again regain its color okay so this is also example of 
reversible change the molten wax becomes solid again when cooled this also i have told you so all these changes are there for can easily be reversed so this is a reversible change children always remember in a reversible change internal structure mein koi change nahi aata hai their shape can be changed their size can be changed their color can be changed but the internal structure the molecule of that substance will remain same there will be no change in case of reversible change okay so see in most reversible change the internal structure of the substance involved does not change unke internal structure mein koi change nahi aata hai aisa nahi hai ki when we are squeezing this balloon the molecule or the uh, substance of this balloon will change no it is not going to change all right it will remain as it is so these are called reversible changes okay now now consider other changes like bursting of balloon cannot be reversed now now with what i do if i just burst it i'm not going to do that don't worry i'm not going to just burst it so when you burst it jab aap isko fod doge to kya hoga wo alag shape mein ho jayega it it will not again regain this shape wo kya hoga wo fat jayega you cannot again change that bursted balloon into a normal balloon getting my point so we cannot reverse the bursted balloon normal to to back to normal okay so that is a irreversible change that is irreversible change getting my point so uh, let's see few more examples of irreversible change so this we have done we have talked about the examples of reversible change now coming to the examples of irreversible change so uh, this is omelet if you know so when you put you just break the egg and you put it in a pan and you heat it now what happens this raw egg is now converted into an omelet okay now again you cannot convert this omelet back to the egg okay aap isko wapas se egg nahi bana sakte okay so this is a irreversible change okay now burning of wood aap wood ko burn kar rahe ho okay there is a change you cannot again form the wood aap wood wo wo wood dobara nahi le sakte okay you cannot obtain the same wood after burning it okay so this is a irreversible change same is with baking whenever we are uh, we have atta we make a dough of atta and then we prepare a chapati or a bread all right so when the chapati or bread is prepared or roti is cooked we cannot again convert that uh roti or chapati back to the flour okay we cannot convert it back to the same atta or same dough okay so this is also a irreversible change same is with the vegetables jab bhi hum koi sabji bana rahe hain so we cannot again convert all the different vegetables back to its raw form we cannot convert it so it is a irreversible change our growth so once we have attained our height once our height is increasing the height cannot again be retarded okay so it is a irreversible change so these all are the irreversible changes that are taking place around us all the time okay so let's see what is written in the chapter so we have talked about bursting of balloon cannot be reversed growth is a change that cannot be reversed growth also cannot be reversed be it of uh, uh, animal be it of plant be it of humans it cannot be reversed again 
so it is a irreversible change cooking of food or burning of wax also cannot be reversed back okay so all these things are irreversible changes okay so these are irreversible change in most irreversible change there is a change in internal structure so now what is the difference between reversible and irreversible in case of reversible change internal structure of substance does not change getting it but agar irreversible change hai to internal structure can change okay the molecule that make up the substance undergo changes to form a new substance during growth during cooking during burning like whenever we are burning a paper so when we are burning a paper now paper is burnt and it is now converted into ash yes so black form ke ash mein convert ho jata hai okay so there is change in the internal component of the paper getting it so there is change internally okay so in irreversible change the change occurs internally the internal structure changes and that is why we cannot regain its shape we cannot reverse it okay so it is a irreversible change however in some irreversible change the internal structure of the substance does not change For example, when balloon burst, there is no change in the molecule of the rubber. Okay, so when this balloon is bursting, when I am bursting this balloon, ऐसा नहीं होगा कि ये balloon हमने burst किया तो वो कोई किसी कागज में convert हो जाएगा और it will convert into a paper or a plastic or something like that. The rubber will remain rubber. All right, this rubber balloon will remain rubber as it is. though its shape changes its size changes its pattern changes but the main component or the main uh, uh, substance or the molecule will remain as it is okay so this is the example of irreversible change in which the internal structure does not change getting it so one way to group changes is to see if they are reversible or irreversible so this was the one thing that we have seen that it can be either reversible or it can be either irreversible so i hope you are pretty pretty much clear about what is reversible and irreversible so reversible mein kya hota hai the things if there is change it can again regain its original form okay that is called reversible change reversible change mein koi bhi internal structure change नहीं होता है देर इज नो चेंज इन द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सब्सटेंस बट इन केस ऑफ इिवर्सिबल चेंज इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर कैन चेंज ओके बट एट टाइम्स इट डज नॉट चेंज एज इन केस ऑफ बर्स्टेड बलून सो इफ देर इज अर्स्टेड बलून तो इट इट विल रिमेन एज इट इज द मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ बलून विल रिमेन एज इट इज इट इज इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज ओके so we have talked about reversible change we have talked about irreversible change we have also seen few examples of reversible and irreversible children after the class i will be sending you one worksheet so in that you have few figures and there you have to identify which is reversible and irreversible change okay this homework you will do it in your rough notebook okay that you will do in your rough notebook and you will write only the names okay write one then reversible or irreversible like that okay so after the class i'll send you that homework so please go through the school app e content there you can find the homework so please do that okay so we have talked about reversible and irreversible change and i hope it is clear to you now coming back to the topic so we have done reversible and irreversible this was one criteria to differentiate the changes another criteria to differentiate the changes is physical and chemical change okay so what is physical change if in a change 
there is no new substance formed it is called physical change if no new substance is formed koi naya substance nahi ban raha hai after the change then it is called physical change okay but after a change if there is a new product that is formed a new substance is formed it is called chemical change getting it so now we are going to categorize the change as physical and chemical we have done reversible and irreversible now we are going to differentiate it as physical and chemical so a very simple difference between physical and chemical is if any new substance is formed it is called chemical change but if no new substance is formed it is called physical change okay so let's see what is written in the chapter first all right so we have done this now coming on to physical and chemical changes one of the most important methods of classifying changes depends on whether new substances are formed during the change or not if new substances are formed it is chemical change if no new substances are formed it is it is physical change all right so now quickly tell me this balloon so the change between these two balloons is it physical or chemical it is a physical change very correct okay now coming back to few examples so let's see few examples okay let's see few examples first of physical change see kicking a football so when we are kicking a football is football changing kya football change ho ja raha hai kya uske molecules change ho ja rahe hain does the molecule of football is getting changed no it is remain it will remain as it is okay even if you uh, like play after playing the football you even burst the football burst agar aapka football fat bhi ja raha ho burst bhi kar ja raha then also the molecule of the football will remain as it is it is not going to change okay so this type of change is a physical change okay i am not talking about reversible and irreversible right now i am only focusing on physical and chemical change then we will see among these which are reversible and irreversible okay so now this football kicking of football because the molecule of this football the material of this football does not changes so it is a physical change getting it now see here this is a paper sheet of paper so this is a tearing of paper we have torn the paper into smaller pieces yes so is the molecule of paper changing यहाँ पे भी पेपर है और जब आपने उसको छोटे छोटे पार्ट में टीयर कर दिया देन ऑल्सो इट इज पेपर ओके ऐसा नहीं कि यहाँ पेपर है तो आपने इसको टीयर किया तो ये प्लास्टिक में कन्वर्ट हो गया नहीं इट विल रिमेन एज इट इज द मोलिक्यूल और द सब्सटेंस फ्रॉम विच द पेपर इज मेड इट इज इट विल रिमेन एज इट इज ओके सो देर इज नो न्यू सब्सटेंस फॉर्म इन टीयरिंग ऑफ पेपर इज एंड इट सो इट इज अ physical change okay it is a physical change okay now see here this is a pencil aapke paas pencil hoti hai so you write it from pencil you again erase it uh, and uh, you again uh, just sharpen it so what happens the size of pencil changes the size of pencil changes but the molecule of the pencil remains same isn't it it remain as it is only the size changes so is it a physical or a chemical change it is definitely a physical change similarly when you are using a eraser so you are using the eraser the size of eraser is changing it will become smaller as you are using it okay but 
the rubber will remain as it is the eraser the component of the eraser will remain as it is it is not going to change so it is a physical change getting it similarly here this freezing of water so when water is converted into ice though the state is changing theek hai wo liquid se solid mein convert ho raha hai the state is changing but the main component that is h2o water is h2o right so water will remain water h2o will remain h2o state is changing but the main molecule inside it is remain same so this type of things is called physical change these are the examples of physical change now you should also learn see can you see this figure of wheel see in a wheel what happens after the wheel is constructed hum ek band lagate hain uske charo taraf okay and this is a very good example of expansion what is expansion jab koi cheez expand kar jaye like if you have uh, seen an iron or a metal so when you heat a metal you can again give a new shape to that okay it will get expanded okay wo fail jata hai uske molecules fail jate hain molecule will remain as it is it is only increasing and decreasing in size okay this is called expansion expansion means increasing in size when we are heating it that is called expansion this property is used in case of wheels okay so what happens this band is prepared a little smaller in size than wheel so when it is heated it attains the size of the wheel and again it is cooled down okay so that it remains stacked to the wheel getting it so these are the examples of physical changes let's see what is written in the chapter so first example here is kicking of football so when you kick a football its position changes position change ho rahi hai but it remains the football no new substance is formed so this is called a physical change similarly tearing of paper i have told you no new substance is formed the molecule of paper will remain the same okay so it is a physical change changing the size with use changing the size with use so the size of pencil or eraser changes with use but no new substance is formed okay so it is a physical change similarly freezing of water so molecule of ice and water are exactly the same no new substance is formed heating substance if balloon is kept in a sun its size increases because the air in it expands on heating expand ho jata hai this is called expansion you can clearly see here see expansion on heating is used to fit an iron rim to a wooden wheel the rim this is a rim this you can see this is a rim okay the rim is made slightly smaller in diameter than the wheel it is heated so that it expands to so, ye expand ho jayega the hot rim is then slipped on to the wheel wheel ke charo taraf hum usko laga dete hain the cold water is poured onto it to cool it the rim contracts to cooling and formally grips the wheel okay so expansion is important here okay expand ka matlab hota hai fail jana getting it so all these things where no change in substance takes place is called physical change all these things are called physical change okay so um you we should also see that most of the example that we have seen are reversible in nature like kicking off football is reversible yes okay tearing of paper it is not reversible it is irreversible in nature 
changing the size it is also irreversible freezing is reversible heating is expansion is ir sorry reversible all right so most of the physical changes are reversible except for few that is change in pencil of size and tearing of paper so most of the physical changes are considered as reversible change okay so children uh, that was about the physical change and again tomorrow like like whenever we are having the next class of chemistry so we will be continuing with the chemical changes and changes that occur when we are mixing two or three different substances okay so now children uh, please go through the e content you have your homework there please do the homework in your rough notebook all right so that's all for today's class thank you and jai hind everyone